What's up, everybody? I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And today, today, finally, we have some insight into the all-new 23 Mazda CX-50 from Huntsville, Alabama, coming to your local U.S. dealership probably in about three or four weeks. So, stay tuned. I realized that I'm later than a few folks to share this information, and I was actually waiting to compile uh, spec sizes, all types of things that I thought they would send to the Mazda dealers by now. However, all we have is the same newsroom article that was released yesterday morning. So we're going to jump in and look at our typical trim levels or in this case, as Mazda refers to it, packages. Also, we'll look at the colors and talk about some of the pricing. So, jumping right into the trims, we now have the complete information of what Mazda was thinking with the two Zircon Sand Polymetal Gray options that each dealer was getting. We thought that at some point they might sprinkle in a little bit of that famed, excited, waiting for off-road package. Not so fast, my friend. We now know that that 18-inch wheel, hood graphic, potential accessories such as the basket on top won't be coming till later. That is the 10th. That's right, 10, 10, the 10th package or 10th trim level that the CX-50 will offer and that's coming out later on and we aren't even talking about hybrid powertrains yet. So let's jump into this inclusive, exclusive, but nine packages on the CX-50 and we're starting off with the 2.5S. All of the 2.5S will have our 2.5 liter naturally aspirated uh, four-cylinder engine with six-speed automatic. So we have the 2.5S. Just a few things to mention on this because there are some gaps in the information that was shared on the newsroom or in the newsroom. So this one, of course, will have some standard equipment such as the all-wheel drive with the MI drive system or the Mazda Intelligent drive system which will have two, two drive modes which will offer a 2,000 pound max towing. So you have sport and off-road in those two drive modes. Also the 2.5S will have an 8.8 .8 inch screen so the same thing that you find in the CX-30 and the Mazda 3 will be in your entry level uh, CX-50. Also, this will include wireless, that's right, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So not sure if it's wireless Android Auto as well, but definitely wireless CarPlay. So something new for this seventh gen system. Also a seven inch LCD instrument panel. And uh, we will have LED headlights, rear spoiler as we've seen, body colored, power side view mirrors which is nice and then of course everything will have the black signature grill uh, the, or the, excuse me the wing and the same grill uh, but also will have uh, the dual exhaust in the back and LED headlights. Safety continues to be a priority on the CX-50 like all other Mazdas so you will have the full iActive Sense safety suite which includes blind spot monitoring. So standard on all will be blind spot monitoring as well as a rear cross traffic and the typicals, lane departure alert, lane keep assist, advanced smart city brake support with pedestrian detection. But we will have to wait and see if Mazda radar cruise control is going to be available through the whole line. Then we jump up to the select package and the select package adds a few more of the creature comforts the dual zone automatic climate control with rear AC vents, a leather wrapped steering wheel, which again is not going to be standard on the 2.5S, LED interior lighting, a 60-40 split rear seat, 
as well as a fold down armrest adding two additional USBs for a total of four. The select and higher will get the 10.25 inch screen. And we'll also have rear tinted privacy glass and a 17 inch black alloy wheel. I neglected to say that on the 2.5S it's a 17 inch same style wheel and we'll look at these in just a few minutes uh, but it's a dark gray so anything black wheel moving forward will be an upgraded model stepping up to the preferred package you add a power rear lift gate also a eight-way power driver seat and heated front seats uh, also cx50 heated side mirrors so more rugged more outdoors more availability of heated side mirrors so on the preferred and up also, you'll notice that I didn't mention the interiors on any of these first three trim levels because I'm not sure if we're going to see a cloth on the 2.5S, then upgrade to full leatherette or what we will see moving forward. That's one of the items that's left out. But moving on to the Preferred Plus, the Preferred Plus adds the pano roof. That's right. So you add a pano roof even before the premium packages or premium trims. Right after the Premium Plus, comes this premium package and you add bows, full leather, also a six-way power adjustable passenger seat and uh, the full leather of course is going to be black or the unique terracotta. So excited about that and of course you also add two position seat memory. The premium plus is where it all begins for me. So the premium plus adds the 20 inch wheels, the new style pizza wheels as I've been referring to them. So 20 inch wheels on premium plus, not premium. So you still have those 17 inch gloss black available. And I think they're making the 17 inch instead of like an 18 inch more available because of the off-road. So more rubber, uh, but also they've seen success with the carbon additions and other models. So they wanted to offer the black wheel uh, in several different uh, packages as well. Back to the Premium Plus, you also get a power folding side view mirror as well as ventilated front seats and a full color active driving display or heads up display. Now the CX-50 offers three turbo packages. So you have the standard turbo which will still have the 20 inch wheels but also on these turbo packages you upgrade to 3,500 pounds towing which means that your MI drive now has an off-road, a sport, and a towing drive mode. So fantastic and looking forward to 3,500 pounds of towing. The turbos also have a full LED front headlights that are adaptive and auto leveling as well as paddle shifters for a little extra fun and a full LED tail light. Also just like on the Mazda 3 and the uh, some other turbo models you get a little bit larger rear outlet there on the exhaust. The Turbo Premium Package upgrades to the um, Bose system as well with satellite radio, active driving display, heated steering wheel, and ventilated front seats. So I'm not sure if the Turbo Package will have leather as well. I believe it will. Just won't add the ventilated seats or some of the other nice, niceties until you get to the Premium. The last real package that we'll be talking about today is the Turbo Premium Plus Package. And this is the one that all of us dealers have in either Zircon Sand or Polymetal Gray coming in in about three to four weeks. So check with your local Mazda dealer if you're interested in that model. And that basically upgrades from the Turbo Premium an auto dimming rear view mirror which is frameless. So something that we're accustomed to on the signature models in other vehicles. Also uh, that includes Homelink, heated rear seats, wireless phone charger up in the console, and Mazda navigation system. So this is our top model in the Premium Plus and of course you get an active driving display with traffic sign recognition because you have that nav card installed. The tenth and final trim that we won't be talking about much today because it won't be released for a while is the new Turbo Meridian Edition. Interesting name there, Turbo Meridian Edition and this will be that off-road model that we've seen with the hood graphics and the 18-inch alloys. So excited to find out more about that as we get closer to release. Now let's jump into colors. So excited to say that we do have seven colors available on the CX-50. 
However, there's still some guessing to do here as far as scratching our head. So the standard 2.5S is only available in three colors. One of those is polymetal gray, which will be available throughout the whole line. However, a polymetal gray will be a 395 upcharge, just like we're seeing in some other uh, 22 or now 23 models. Uh, also on that 2.5S, we have jet black, which is a no cost color. And from information from uh, Mazda, a new, a new blue, ingot blue, and ingot blue appears to be a little bit lighter. However, uh, recent information from one of my fellow Mazda uh, salespeople, uh, the internet sales manager uh, over at a Mazda store in Texas, released a video of a what appears to be a deep crystal blue, as you can see here in this color. So uh, this was a pre-production model. Don't know if they were just testing the colors at that point. Also, we'll have an interior shot shared from Isaiah here in uh, Texas that uh, leaves us scratching our head just a little bit about interior materials available. But this deep crystal blue and the ingot blue appear to be different. Here's what the ingot blue looks like. So you can see the deep crystal blue is a lot darker, more than navy, and what we've been accustomed to, this ingot blue, we're really not sure. Now the polymetal gray, of course, we're accustomed to this look, and the jet black mica. Moving forward, every other model, we have a new white called Wind Chill Pearl. This is actually a Toyota color, so there is some crossover or sharing there, and it will be a 395 upcharge as well. Then, of course, the tried and true beautiful machine gray will be a 595 upcharge. The soul red crystal will be a 595 upcharge. And the zircon sand will be a 395 uh, upcharge. So, zircon and ingot are new colors available. Um, ingot and jet black will not be uh, any add ons. However, the zircon sand will only be available in the turbo models and, of course, the meridian edition. So, zircon sand. Ingot blue looks to be a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit brighter. Maybe Mazda has been listening to us. Now, as far as I know, the windshield pearl is a new color for Mazda, not for Toyota, but I cannot find where the ingot blue is currently in existence uh, with Toyota. So this may be a new Mazda color that we'll see throughout the 23 line. Here's to hoping. <laughs> now, speaking about the interior colors, of course, we expect some type of beige or sand and black interior moving right along. Uh, however, the vehicle that Isaiah shared over in Texas that he saw back in January did have leatherette interior. However, the inserts looked a little funny, like a little bit of fabric or something like that. Here's what they look like. Um, so not really sure what we're gonna see on that 2.5S. It doesn't mention in the information we have shared whether we see a cloth and a leatherette or some mixture of that. Of course, as you're talking about uh, more rugged and more uh, outdoors, you expect some leatherette for durability, but also they might have some new type of cloth weave to be more water resistant and things like that. And uh, the full leather, of course, is gonna be black or the unique terracotta. All right, let's jump into pricing. Now, if you've been looking on the internet the last uh, 24 hours or so, you've seen that some people were kind of surprised at the pricing of the CX-50. I think Kelly Blue Book actually said it's more than a CX-5, which is what we've been expecting the whole time. So that 2.5S actually starts at 26.8, which again, for an all-wheel drive, larger vehicle, I'm very satisfied with that. And of course, we do have some good standard equipment on that, even though we're not sure what the interior is actually going to entail. Uh, but of course, with destination, that's 28025. Then, as you move to the select, it's 282 before destination. Then 295. Then the preferred plus. The difference between the preferred and the preferred plus, if you remember, is the pano roof. So for the pano roof, you're actually paying about $2,500. But that thing sure is pretty. Then from the preferred plus to the premium which is a few goodies, including leather interior, it's 34.4. Then to go to the premium plus, you go to 36.4. Then the first turbo model is 36.4 plus destination. Then the turbo premium goes to 39.550. And the turbo premium plus 
which is kind of that signature or top model, is 41,550, which with destination is 42,775. So many of you on the channel and in the Mazda Passion group on Facebook thought we'd be targeting somewhere between that 42 to 43 price point. So you were absolutely correct. And of course, we don't know pricing for the Meridian edition yet, but I expect when you go from 20s to 18s, maybe a little bit of a hood graphic, I think you're still going to be somewhere under the 44,000 range after destination, but definitely under 45, unless they throw a lot more accessories at this Meridian edition that I'm not expecting. But we're right there in that $43,000 range, maybe with give or take a little bit of all weather mats. So uh, right on, on point to what we were expecting. Of course, the signature CX-5 is right at 40,009 or 41,000, you know, right in that before port installed options. So for the CX-50, same similar equipment in terracotta even for 43, I think is a very good price point. And then to go back to the beginning and start, that's right, go back to the beginning. Back up. At 28025, I think this is a fantastic vehicle for that price point. And even if you upgrade to the Select to get a little different wheels, a little bit larger screen, you're still under $30,000, which is really nice. So that wraps up this edition of Mazda News Update with a blend of Mazda crossover news and a 2023 Mazda CX-50. I'll be here on the boulevard keeping my ear to the ground for all new information CX-50 and I still have some questions about actual sizes, actual specs, and what interior actually will be standard on the CX-50. According to Garrett, my buddy on the ground at the factory, he hasn't seen any cloth interior or any other interior materials other than leather being installed on these, as we expect because all premium pluses are coming first, and then you expect to be more of those premium models coming first. Uh, after that. So it'll be exciting to see what offers we actually have and when more information is available. So check out some of this information on the CX-5 and we will be here and see you on the next one.